So you want to make your living as a guitar player, or you're watching this as you've often wondered how a musician earns a living. Well, let me explain the scary truth behind it all. As you're probably not at all surprised, it all comes down to hard work and basically having to work every single day. And even when it seems someone isn't working, trust me, they are, as a musician's brain and a self-employed person's brain never switches off. Now, having as many strings of income is very, very important. I myself have got my fingers in a few different pies so that if one stream of income starts to dry up, I've got other resources of income coming in still. So for example, the other day, I had to get up horribly early for a musician, 7 a.m., and teach at a school for a few hours. Then leaving that school, heading up to London on the train to do some session work. Right, first one down. Now I get up London and record lots of guitars. <laughs> And yes, as you can see, it involves a lot of walking. At times, you're probably walking, it seems, more than actually playing and making music. I'm done. Now, can we back home? <laughs> Go. Yeah, I was very tired at the end of that day. Then the next day, I needed to start learning songs for a series of gigs coming up. So then it's down to listening and working out the songs, and this will more than likely be for several different bands, so multiple styles need to be covered. And more importantly, for stuff like this, Getting your ear training down is so, so important. I can't stress it enough. Getting your ear training down. I remember years ago, I would try hunting out tabs for a particular song I was looking for, and I would be spending ages trying to find the right tab. Then I find a tab, and then it ended up being that that tab was completely wrong. And so I've just spent 30 minutes trying to find the tab, and then it's wrong, and I'm like, well, if I just spent that 30 minutes trying to actually work out the song, I probably would have made more of a headway instead of wasting my time trying to find tab for what someone else has tried to figure out and they've just figured it out all wrong. So get your ears working. Trust me, it's so, so important. Even if you spend like half an hour working out a chord in a song and it turns out it's just a G chord, it doesn't matter. The satisfaction and the fulfillment you'll get from working that chord out or that note out on your own will be so much more rewarding than going on, you know, a tab site and finding, you know, cheat sheets for it, which sometimes they're right, but sometimes they're wrong. So get your ears working. Then after doing work on the songs for the different projects, comes time to doing editing and the social media world, which is all very, very important, but at the same time, can be quite hurtful for the mind as you can spend many 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 hours editing a video working on a video to then only get a handful of people watch so you've got to kind of bear that in mind but at the same time it's very very important to kind of get your name out there to people and to you know help forge a career yourself in this day and age as a working musician so just a little heads up, next time you're scrolling Instagram and you see a fellow musician, another guitar player, drummer, another musician you follow, just give their post a little like. Trust me, it will mean so much to them. So this was just two days work as a self-employed musician. And one thing I will say is that one of the many great things about being a self-employed musician is that no two days are the same. I might be doing this one day and then something else the next day. I might be doing a day for the teaching, might be doing a day for the recording, a day for the gigs, a day of traveling. <laughs> Sometimes you're doing five, six hour car journeys or you might get a flight to a gig or something like that. So no two days are the same. 
which is great because it keeps up the variety going all the time in your working professional life. And I will say I enjoy the hustle, I really do. And like most things in life, the chase is better than the catch. And when you do get a little taste of success, it's kind of like a drug. You want it again. So you get the, you get a little taste, it's like, oh, I love that. And that will last for X amount of time. And then you're on the chase again. You're on the hustle to try and get that taste of success once again, you know? And then round that hamster wheel we go. The main thing though, is really love what you're doing. And this goes across life. If you're not loving what you do, then don't do it. I have to play guitar. You know, it's everything to me. I've been playing guitar for 26 years now. And it's, you know, that's over half my life. Massively over half my life. I can't do the maths, but it's so important to me. I've always got a guitar near me, you know? And there's no, there's no anything else really, you know? I have to play the guitar, you know? This is my life's work, this is my passion. Um, this is me. You know, mic and the guitar is one thing. So if you want to make a career as a musician, you can't, it can't be about trying to chase fame or money or anything like that. You know, it's about, I love what I do. And again, I look at that as anything in life. You know, you've got to love what you do. And that way it doesn't really feel like work. Don't get me wrong, there are stressful times, believe me. Um, but you know, I don't really, live my life on a clock and hopefully you're the same if you're a fellow musician watching this you know you don't really want to live your life i remember be, being you know when i was a, a kid working in a supermarket and i'll just be looking at my phone at the time the time all the time you know when is it five o'clock when can i go home and that's not really a way to live your life i don't think anyway so yeah love what you do and through that hopefully success will start coming your way. Anyway, hopefully this helped give you a little insight into the world of trying to make a living as a musician. I've been Mike Bradley, you've been you. If you don't already, subscribe, check out my website, and I'll see you very, very soon. Mike Bradley signing out. Bye.